Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Benny. I am a creative slash photographer slash videographer slash Mato Chan soup maker slash I can keep going. But yes, welcome to the channel. Today, I have a very special friend. You go ahead and introduce yourself joining us today. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm Justin. I'm a fellow photographer slash starting videographer slash creative. I'm, I'm going to go on too and watch. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I do a lot of portrait photography in this field. Uh, I also specialize in boudoir photography. So that's kind of my niche. Awesome. How long have you been doing this for? Uh, since 2018. So about f almost five years now. Five years? Yeah. Going yeah. yeah. up for six. Strong. Yeah. Yeah, it's just crazy how time flies. Dude, it does. Um, and where are you based? Uh, uh, here in Southern California. Uh, I travel out to LA a lot, but I'm mainly from the IE actually. Nice. Represent. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Justin. Today, brought you on because I wanted to talk about and share your wisdom and knowledge on your main top three tips that you can share on for up and coming photographers or seasoned vets, whatever yeah. it may be. Yeah. It's always good to learn something, even if you know it already. So, um, first thing I have notes, don't worry. All right. Came perfect. prepared. Me too. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, just the main thing is learn the basics, you know, shutter speed, ISO aperture. Um, this would be your number one? Yeah, it's number one. Yeah, okay. definitely. Um, it's it's not as hard or intimidating, at, or intimidating, I should say, mm -hmm. um, than some people make it out to be. You know, it's the, the best analogy I came up with, honestly, was like filling up a, a little pool with, uh, with a water hose. You know, shutter speed is how long you can quickly turn it on and off the hose. Um, aperture is how wide the hose actually is. Okay. And then um, the ISO, that one was actually hard for me to come up with, <laughs> but the best way I can describe it is, you know, just the ice you add from inside, like how much, how cool you can make it, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that's the first thing. Learn shutter speed, aperture, and ISO, and you'll be pretty much good to shoot anything. Yeah, so, these, are, these are good analogies. Yeah. I would come up with the strangest analogies and you can ask all the models yeah. that I work with and they'll just be telling you that I speak Chinese and <laughs> so on. Speaking something other than English, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, yeah to somebody who, uh, um, as you said, somebody who's starting off, you want to keep the analogy simple. Yeah. And I think you did a really good job with that. Yeah. Took a while, but yeah. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Number two, I feel is maybe even a little bit more important, but, um, you know, get, get a camera as soon as you can, you know, if all you have is a phone, that's understandable. Mm -hmm. Um, there are apps, whether it be on Android or even iPhone, um, that will give you kind of manual control. So that way you can learn the shutter speed aperture ISO. Mm -hmm. Um, what are, what are, um, not to cut you off, but what are some of your favorite apps that you can... Uh, first and foremost, if you're doing more video stuff, um, I recently kind of discovered Blackmagic Camera. Okay. They have an app that works really well. It's, It looks like it's a whole spaceship, I'll be honest, but um, you know, it's it still has those fundamental controls that you're going to need to know to do video stuff. Cool. Um, as far as photography goes, um, there's a myriad of them. You can download literally any of them that say, you know, manual control and you'll be pretty much set. Um, I like, uh, Halide, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, Moment has a great camera app. Um, you know, they've been making lenses for the iPhone for a few years now. So mm -hmm. I recommend them. Um, and actually Filmic Pro has, a, a not only a, a video capture app, but um, they have like a camera app, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, you can have your manual controls and, you know, do everything through their app that, you know, the iPhone or Android doesn't necessarily have. So um, I think those apps are what I would start with. Are these only solely based on one platform? Like, uh, is it only no, based I, for iPhone? Uh, I think Moment was working on an Android app, but I believe they're only on iPhone for right now. Okay. Uh, Filmic should be on both 
uh, OS's. Mm -hmm. Um, and Black Magic, I can only say for sure they're on iPhone. I don't know if they're actually on Android. If they're not, they're, they probably will be soon. Gotcha. So, yeah. Those are cool. I mean, definitely check them out. Um, definitely. I, I personally use like a uh, CapCut or uh, for video. Yeah, yeah. And Snapseed. Yeah, I, I started with Snapseed too uh, oh. when I was learning my editing techniques. So, nice. yeah, Snapseed and then obviously Lightroom, you know, if you want to have the the standard when it comes to like editing and stuff that's definitely the way to go um i was gonna ask you when you're mentioning you know just start off with any camera mm -hmm. what what i was thinking is what is actually was your favorite uh first camera my first that camera you started off with? that was actually a t uh canon t6 Nice. Yeah. So, um, me being me, I, I researched everything for like at least a week. Um, so I landed on that camera and then I think, uh, 2019, maybe 2020, um, the, uh, Canon RP came out with the R and everything like that. So I couldn't afford the R cause it was like what, $1,800 at the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I went with the RP got it took um a few photos got really used to the controls and everything mm -hmm. uh, and that's been my camera ever since um definitely upgrades are in the future but honestly you don't need the best camera and i'm sure a lot of people will say that oh yeah but you know it helps but you don't need to upgrade to the highest like yeah camera and, setup and i think that's been the hot topic too is because i've been watching all these youtubers or people just saying that you don't need the latest and greatest but you do need a camera that checks off your list what yeah you need exactly time. yeah it, it has to check off everything on your list and it also helps to know specifically what you're going to use the camera for mm -hmm. you know like sure you can get a canon r5 and have the highest megapixel count but is it really going to matter if you're shooting say someone's portrait versus like um maybe santa monica beach yeah like like yeah it's nice to have all that but if you know you can get away with a 20 megapixel camera like the r6 mark ii um then don't save that two thousand dollars and get something you'll actually like want to invest in you know oh, so yeah. that's definitely another thing yeah people have been um making great stuff on like little point and shoot cameras yeah. or like camcorders back in the day mm -hmm. so why can't that be the truth for nowadays as well yeah so uh, all it takes is what great lighting definitely, definitely. great composition mm -hmm. framing i think you need to learn all those basics before you get invested into like as, gear syndrome as my first point demonstrates yes. you know learn shutter speed and all that um yeah i i can talk for hours about just yeah. that alone so um definitely definitely cool what's your uh your third I believe? third mm -hmm. uh being that you know someone is just starting out it it helps to know what you're wanting to shoot um when i started i knew it was going to be portraits just because um you know it, it's it gives you a sense of, you know, you're giving somebody the opportunity to see themselves in a different light. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of how uh, Boudoir uh, really resonated with me as well, because, you know, it, it is a, a delicate type of photography. Yeah. Like not just anybody can, you know, throw something on um, and kind of pose and, you know, how a model does. But when you factor in you know the posing and you know the camera angles and whatnot but you also throw in the the humanity of it like oh hey you know you're yeah you're taking a picture but yeah. you're taking a picture that you've never really taken before you know so it's really it really sets a tone that you want to make sure is positive for the person like yeah you're creating great photos and whatnot but how does the person feel after taking that photo like that's my main goal is to make sure that 
it's all you know safe space positive energy um smiles if you can help it mm -hmm. um and just you know you, you don't always hit it and that's okay but you're you're looking for that wow from that person you know so it's like you know you, you take the picture they see it they're like oh wow that's me like that's what i strive to look for like is that wow that's me like i can't believe that's me yeah you know that's that's what makes it all worth it well um when you started off did you have any hiccups on um, talking to people or <laughs> funny enough i did um like a lot of people i started out with a phone you know and everything like that so i had to adapt the apps i talked about you know to to what i wanted to shoot and how to learn how to shoot it um thinking back to it now it's really funny how i reached out to people uh to look for photo shoots and you know i, I was kind of upfront about it like hey i'm just starting out i'm shooting with a phone mm -hmm. if that you know like deters you i get it but you know i do have the knowledge on camera basics and you know all that and yeah, I, I didn't get a whole lot of people to shoot with from that. <laughs> but, you know, once I invested in that camera, mm -hmm. you know, um, things definitely took off from there. So if you can help it, get a camera. If not, you know, just know that you're not going to get a lot of um, hits right off the bat. Like, oh, yeah, let's shoot this. You know, oh, you have a phone? That's okay. You know, but um, yeah, that's pretty much that. What about directing people in shoots? Like, uh having the lingo to tell somebody like hey pose like this pose like that yeah th that's that one I'm, I'm still actually learning myself mm -hmm. um you know you you don't want to say the wrong thing yeah so, so oh, you, you and know, i have both heard yeah it. and you don't want to assume that someone's going to be comfortable with you touching them and, and whatnot oh, yeah. you know moving arms and uh flipping hair if, if you need to so just establish that boundary on both on both ends and you know everything should flow smoothly but definitely keep in mind that not everybody has the same type of personality that's you know open like that mm -hmm. so you know maybe use um clinical terms at first and then um you know just kind of build that relationship with whoever you're shooting with and then maybe kind of ease up and go more casual and uh, it, it helps to learn or know what not to say and what to say like hands down wouldn't you agree that as you go on in this field that you actually come out of your shell more than Definitely. When, you, when you started off? Yeah, because uh, when I started shooting um, portraits even, um, I'm not really, I mean, I figured this out a long time ago. I'm, I'm an introverted extrovert, mm -hmm. not the other way around. So as much as I can talk to people, um, I would really rather not. So, yeah. so it's ironic that I get into a field mm -hmm. where you're talking to people constantly. So what, what helped me there was that, you know, I just had the mindset of, Hey, you're, you're making somebody happy with pictures they're going to, you know, hold on to for mm -hmm. however long. So, um, you know, the worst thing that can happen is that they say no, that's definitely something I had to keep in mind and you know, from there, it just kind of helped me navigate through connecting with people, um, whether that be models or even companies looking for like photos for events or something like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, luckily figuring that out early helped me see, okay, this is how I should approach this. This is how I should approach that stuff like that. So. Yeah, definitely. Um, I know for me, when I started off and like directing people, uh, it was kind of tricky because I understand the whole dilemma of not wanting to talk to people, but <laughs> you have to, you have to come out of that. Yeah. You know, um, I know we, we just went on a recent shoot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And, um, as soon as we both went our separate ways, I had to, you know, recharge my batteries as one would say. Mm hmm just for the the next time or whenever you go on an, another shoot or whatsoever mm -hmm. so yeah it it takes a lot for us as introverts mm -hmm. to get our 
get us riled up and get ready but we have to get that experience definitely yeah the more experience you have the better off you'll be yeah and then you'll learn to actually use that in you know business or wherever you go in your jobs or get more clientele definitely can i give a bonus tip kind of a big big one for me honestly want to give a bonus tip yeah all right Let's so do it. to put it simply um especially when it comes to portraits or more specifically to boudoir mm -hmm. if you're going to get into that field specifically you have to do it for the right reasons mm -hmm. you're familiar with the community that we're in as far as photos and everything oh yeah, yeah how there's some bad apples to put it nicely um you have to know why you're doing this it mm -hmm. can't like sure we can use it to make some extra cash you know that's that's not that's not uncommon but i think the bigger reason should be like i said before make someone smile make someone see themselves in a light that they haven't really seen before mm -hmm. and just to make them how do i put it just make them feel good about themselves you know yeah so like if, if you're gonna go into this in any other way maybe re rethink what you're doing mm -hmm. you know because i've heard stories um about you know photographers not being professional yeah um so it, so when i hear something like that it's like then why are you doing it like if you're not in it to make cool stuff if you're not in it to make um connections if not friends you know mm -hmm. at least um then it's like this this community probably isn't for you like if you're gonna go into it um you know entitled with a bit of ego yeah um anything along that it's it's not gonna work out great for you yeah especially when people start to pick up on it and then say you go on a shoot that you're not a hundred percent you know like into or passionate about the photos are going to show too yeah you're going to see it yeah so yeah. it's like you know figure out what you want to shoot how you want to shoot it build those connections and friendships that you know that are in the same field mm -hmm. and then anything else just kind of either toss it aside just avoid it or figure out based on that that you know what maybe this isn't for me right now exactly. so that's a that, that's a big thing for me like I'm, I'm always like you know make cool stuff do it with people who are just as passionate about it as you are mm -hmm. and then any um any kind of negativity just you know cast it out yeah yeah that way everybody's happy everybody gets cool stuff made and everybody goes home happy you know? exactly it's like what why do this for any other reason you know like for me i'm doing it because i've you know made friends you obviously one of my better friends mm -hmm. um and then also too i've had opportunities to meet people meet people that i didn't think i would meet and was like nervous to talk to yeah <laughs> like there have been a few models where i've followed them on instagram followed their work and the ones I have met, like, we're good friends now. Like, it's crazy. But the ones I haven't met, I'll admit, I'm still a little afraid to talk to. Because it's like, <laughs> it's like, it's like, they're intimidating a them? little bit. Yeah, it's like, it's like meeting a, a celebrity in, oh, yeah. in some cases, like, um, you know, you're like starstruck, you know, so it's like, yeah, it's a good feeling. To have. Yeah, definitely. But um, keeps you humble. Yeah, definitely. And humility is definitely something you should um keep in mind because mm -hmm. nobody's perfect at this nobody's the best at this so don't act like that don't act like it yeah we're not here to make corn we're not farmers yeah <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> I, I, that joke. i've actually never heard that before that, that's funny that's trademark funny. yeah <laughs> yeah but that's my that's my bonus tip so yeah do, do it for the right reason know your why make cool stuff yeah 
I would say the same thing. Be kind. Because, you know, the world right now that we live in, unfortunately, some of the people take advantage of other people. And it sucks. But yes, definitely, we're here to make art. We're here to, you know, push the extents of what we can create as we generate into this new what artificial world that we yeah. are coming into the whole metaverse thing yeah yeah and you know that's that's cool because it derives from competition it actually i think it's going to push even us as creatives even to push cool content and more of a conceptual Mm -hmm. i'll make you think outside the box is what i'm trying yeah. to say to keep yeah. it in simple terms because I, I guarantee there's concepts that we haven't thought of that ai has and oh, it's yeah. that's scary yeah yeah there, there's growth in there for sure yeah definitely we'll have to talk about ai because ai is always a hot topic on another video yeah definitely <laughs> um do you want to say anything else any other but i think i think we brushed off we don't want to overload no people no, no. here uh i think we as you actually set some pretty good tips yeah for people who uh, i hope that this you know and i'm pretty sure you as well uh, resonates and hopefully that people will learn yeah some cool new tips from you definitely um, oh okay a, a bonus tip part yeah. two <laughs> have common sense oh yeah just have common sense isn't that funny that we have to actually say that? Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, you'd be surprised. Actually, would you be surprised? No, probably not. No, no. Surprised. Yeah, just the fact that we have to say that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> so yeah, tie that into the last or the the bonus tip, and you're solid. Perfect. All right, Justin. If with that being said, there's nothing else. Do you want to say any parting ways? Any parting words? Um, not well. Yeah, just keep creating stuff. Um, you know that's how the community grows. That's how the art grows. Um, yeah, just keep creating, really. And don't let the don't let the people who say, "Oh, digital photography isn't." you know, great, or you're just pushing a button. Don't let them say that. No. They don't what know. What a cool camera you have. Yeah. Oh, that should be another video. Just the stuff you hear on shoots <laughs> that just make you die inside. Definitely. Hang on, That's maybe. another video for sure. <laughs> let me check the camera and see if it's recording because I heard the beep. Okay, cool. It's recording. All right. <laughs> I'm going to segue into um, the ending. Okay. If you have nothing else to say. No, I'm good. Yeah. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys for joining us in this uh, video, in this channel. And I want to also thank Justin for being here and sharing his knowledge and his wisdom. Of course. Always fun to be here. Perfect. Um, oh, yes. Obviously. The last, I always forget these. But I always say, like, as a robot, autonomous, autonomous robot. <laughs> the AI gets to you too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking to Benny. I'm talking <laughs> to his, his clone AI image. <laughs> oh, yes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, punch that notification bell to keep up with the latest content that we have creating on this channel. Now, hopefully, Justin, you will also put this maybe on your channel as well. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to follow me, uh, yes, mo uh, mostly on mostly on Instagram. Um, my main account is Halcyon Aesthetic. I'm sure you can put in like a yeah. spell it out. Yeah. I even put um, it in the captions. Too. Yeah. Um, and then my boudoir fi uh, focused account that I'm trying to build up more, um, boudoir by nature, all one one name. Um, you can guys go follow me there too. That'd be uh, awesome. And then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you have a Twitter? Uh, Twitter, I'm working on. Okay. I'm restructuring it. No so, other social. Um, not really. Maybe later on. Maybe later on, yeah. 
Maybe yes. some, some AI generated. Yeah, yeah, there's definitely AI goals in 2024. <laughs> Perfect. Awesome, guys. I want to thank you guys again. Thank Justin. We hope to see you in the next one. Justin, you want to say your say sayonaras for this one? Because I always go like some crazy. Yeah, I was going to say, expect me in another video. Because these are always fun. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> All right, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.